to the last United Nations numbers, three and a half thousand children were injured and 521 Palestinian children were killed by the Israeli troops. Gunfire, bombing, rockets during the 51 days that this assault on Gaza lasted. None of these children had done anything wrong but being Palestinians born in Gaza. All of these children have not been able to escape from Gaza because the same power that is bombing them is also keeping them locked in, incarcerated in this cage that Gaza actually is, this ghetto. And um, when you see these children and you see their suffering, their wounds, their burns, and you hear their screams, you can never forget it. And it's not a political question only. It is as much a question of humanity, of justice, and of fighting for a decent world where civilians are protected and where children can live in peace and safety, just like we want our children to live in peace and safety. Now, in Gaza, currently, there are 1.8 million people living. The average age of the population in Gaza 17.6 years it is a child ghetto they have been under siege for seven years now they have been attacked four times by the Israeli forces since 2006 the losses have been immense the infrastructure is completely destroyed water pipelines sewage systems schools ambulances residential areas apartment buildings farms, fishing boats, everything is being destroyed by the Israeli army. And I think we all have a responsibility to stand up for the Palestinian people and to show, us their show them our solidarity and to show the world that we don't want to live in a world where might is defining right. We want right to be right and not might to be right. You should not be allowed, even if you have the strongest weapons, to oppress other people. The struggle in Gaza is a struggle for all of us, actually. It's a struggle about human decency, about equality and human rights. And the Palestinian people deserve and need our solidarity all over the world. So please, even if this last attack is over, the situation in Gaza, in the West Bank, for the Palestinian refugees in Lebanon, in Syria, in Egypt, in Jordan, is very, very difficult. We should not forget them. We have to join in the Solidarity Movement, join in the Boycott Divestment Sanction, Sanction Movement and be active. History will judge. If you kept silent, if you stood up for the weaker and the oppressed, or if you chose to be on the wrong side of justice. So wake up and be strong. Thank you.